tycoon would start securing all borders in Yoruba land to curb criminal activities at Detoji and Deleye. The leader of the Amotekun outfit at Detoji and Deleye has announced that the security outfit will start to secure all borders in the Yoruba land to curb the activities of criminals, especially those that specialize in kidnapping, armed robbers, and banditry. In his words, according to the BBC News Yoruba here, he says the job of the security outfit will not disrupt the duty of Nigerians' custom services. He stated in his words that Nigerian custom officers will commune, will continue to do their job while the Amotekun will only secure the borders from any from any consumers. According to Adentuji, those Amotekun who will be stationed within the town will be stationed at every road junction, especially where the roads are bad, because they have discovered that criminals are mostly targeting vehicles that slow down at any bad portion to attack them. In his words, the law, the law that the South governors recently signed prohibiting open grazing has improved farming because herdsmen are refraining from 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 harming farmers and destroying their crops he said it is so surprising to note that the herdsmen who destroy farm crops were even ready to pay ransom to the farmers in many yoruba communities and the southern part of nigeria in general According to him, a Amotekun job will be easier this period because the Amotekun in Oyo State and that of Osun State would be working together, while those in Ekiti will be working together with those in Ondo Axis, and that is how their work is going to be. He added that to his words that the state governors in the Yoruba land have provided enough vehicles for them that, that will aid the movement from one place to another. He concluded that everyone should be at ease because Yoruba land will be free of, of crime as, as a result of the support they have received from all of the governors. I think it's a very good development for hearing this. You can see, you can see the plan of the Yorubas. You see what the Amatekum want to engage into. This is a very good plan. This is a very good development. And even as the, the, the person said in this news was talking, he said, Peace has gradually begun to return to the Yoruba land. That even the 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 the, the, the Fulani headsmen who previously destroyed their land were finding a way to make peace. But I want to uh, disagree with that. Fulani headsmen can never make peace. What they are to do there right now is to find a way to come back again and destroy the land. So what we are urging the Yoruba people to do is total evacuation of those group of human beings because they will never live in a place for peace. Theirs is war and fighting bloodshed. They don't know humans. That is their character. So we don't expect them to make peace or pay ransom to any farmers who they have destroyed. It's total evacuation because that people, they can never live in a land for peace because they are on mission. Generally, we have received an information that it was the leader of this country and his people that sent them. They first pushed them forward into the forest to begin to kill people so that later the Nigerian security agencies will follow and then they will take over the land of Nigeria. 
Recently, it was gathered that the Fulani people have planned and agreed that it was their forefather who handed over Nigeria to them. They have said that the, the, the Yusman Davodio has handed over Nigeria to them so they can enter everywhere and, 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 and collect every land. That, that is their aims. That is their movement. That is, that is their mission. So every Nigerian should understand what these people stand for. They are not people to make peace with. Now, I think the Nigerians in the past years has made a mistake by giving them a portion of land to dwell. They came first with good intention, but they have plan. Now, if Nigerians should study the, 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 the character of the Fulani, it helps me very well. Now, when they came at first, when they were living together, do they come with violence? Do they own AK-47? AK Do they own any weapon? No. They came and they were living with people. People thought that uh, the, other, the tribes they were living with thought that they were good people, not knowing that they have an agenda. So President Muhammad Buhari want to achieve his agenda. That is why he pushed the Fulani headsmen forward first and later they begin to back him up with the security agencies. If I may ask a question, since this uprising and trouble started, how many Nigerians has the security agency been able to save? How many? When they get to a place, it's to destroy that place. That is where they stand for. So right now, the Yorubas has decided that the Amotekun will be, will, be, will be deployed in all over the borders in Yoruba land to be able to stop the activities of criminals and hoodlums. And this, they have spoken to the Nigerian custom that they shouldn't worry, that they are not going to disturb them, but just to stay so that all those criminals, all those gunmen will have no way to come into the land and attack their people anymore. And uh, we think that this is a good development. This is a very good one if it can continue. And we are, I mean, advising them if they can do so, it will be a very good work because the loophole, the nook and cranny of Nigeria has been opened. That is why these people can pass through anywhere and commit their havoc and go scot free. But right now, with the strategy of the Ametekun, I do not think that these people will be able to operate and go free again. More also, we want to uh, we want to appeal to the nigeria government to settle every score they have with people so that nigeria can be a peaceful place now if they cannot settle there is no peace